Well, today turned out to be a pretty fair Monday, but a quick look at our Skycam pointed off to the west. There's Interstate 94 traffic moving along smoothly, but it has that orange hue to it. Can't even really see much of the sun. It has to burn through all of that particulate matter in the upper atmosphere being ejected by fires out to the west. Right now, out at Hector, we have a temperature still in the 70s. In fact, we're up a couple of degrees from the last hour. Wind has been breezy and gusting over 20 miles per hour at times right now, south at 14 miles per hour elsewhere. The warmth is down south. Look at Sisseton, Sizzling at 80, Aberdeen 83. But look as we go to the north and east, how quickly things cool. Grand Forks, you are 69, but we are down in the low 60s in the Bedette area and Beltrami County as well. That smoke shows up on visible satellite imagery. So the, the ground here, the warmest temperatures are really uh, blackened and darkened here, but that hazy, smoky view, southern Minnesota and Iowa, that's where real thick smoke is. And if you look in this, there are actual clouds, the shadows of which we can see, but it's that filmy, milky shake there, milkshake colored stuff that you're seeing there drifting over. I'm sorry, Mike, do you want a milkshake? Okay, no answer. Here is a look at the Gulf Coast. We have spiraling uh, hurricane out there that our neighbors in the, the Gulf Coast are concerned about a level two hurricane out there on the Saffir Simpson scale, taking those winds to 120 mile per hour right now. It's a very slow mover, so winds and surf will be a significant issue for us. We don't have any significant issues, but we do have a lot of change to talk about over the next 24 hours this evening. Get out and enjoy. It'll be a little on the breezy side. A few more clouds up north, and as we go through the overnight hours, those clouds will limit our cooling. So nobody gets really cold, but there'll be a variety of temperatures. Near the international border, the dark colors you see here, some patchy fog, maybe a sprinkle, more clouds. Your temperature's near 50 degrees. Down to the south, we could be pushing near 65 or 70, but all these wind arrows means gusty winds, upwards of around 20 miles per hour or so through the Sisseton Hills into Richland County. So a breezy start to our day. So not too cool as we go through the overnight hours. And by midday tomorrow, if you're heading out for lunch, we have a cold front moving through. You see this batch of clouds right here, that line, that's a cool front moving through. It's a dry one. We won't see widespread showers. Looks like as it moves through, the main thing we're gonna notice is a wind shift. Temperature wise in the south, we stay warm. Temperatures have a good shot at 80 degrees for many. And even up north near the international border will warm, but cool rather quickly by late in the day those winds become northwesterly that is a clear sign that we have transport of cooler Canadian air our way and you'll notice that on the seven day planner here in just one moment but for your Tuesday it looks toasty to start temperatures soaring through the 70s in the afternoon we kiss 80 degrees the wind will be kind of light and variable throughout the day starts out with a southwesterly direction and then shifts to a northerly one late telling us the signs of change heading into our Wednesday. Here's your hometown forecast. Highway 2 points north. A good shot at some 70 degree readings for the afternoon or near 70 degree readings. Elsewhere down to the south, mid 70s to mid 80s down in South Dakota. Melissa Smith, Twin Valley, absolutely stunning shot. That is the sun trying to burn through all of that particulate matter up there. Look at that Wednesday change. 63 the high temperature. That's chilly. But the chilliest of the chili gets here on Thursday morning. Mike and Andrea, it looks like a cold one to get out there and mow. 35 to 40 degrees frost will be likely. A cool day in the afternoon with gradually rebounding temperatures into your weekend. These are seasonable for this time of year. Low 70s, hit and miss showers this weekend. All right, thanks, Hutch.